The business process matrix is a table used to help describe the components of the process. As you will see, the matrix is useful as a reference when developing our graphical models of the process. In order to analyze our active surveillance process, we will start by identifying the bookends of the process. First, we identify the goal and the objective of the process. Why are we performing this work? We then move to the other end of the process and identify the desired outcomes of the process, what will tell us in measurable terms whether or not the objective has been met. Now that we've created the bookends of the process in our matrix, we'll turn to the context diagram to help us understand the environment in which the work is performed. In context analysis, we show all of the entities or participants in the business process, as well as the transactions among them. Entities may be internal or external to the organization, individuals, or groups of people. Once we know the actors on the stage, we'll look at what kicks off or triggers the process of active surveillance. This is usually the receipt of data regarding some health condition that could constitute a public health threat. Such data could include clinical presentation, clusters of disease cases, or laboratory test results. There are a number of inputs into the process that we will also identify at this stage. These are externally originated elements, strategies, protocols, methods, and reports, for example, that feed into the process and are required for the process entities to carry out their respective activities. This is a good place for us to return to the business process matrix and add to it the information on trigger and inputs that we've developed so far in the context diagram. We can then go back and complete the context diagram by representing the transactions, exchanges of goods, information, or services that take place between the entities. Through this process, we draw a picture of how the entities interact in order to perform the work of active surveillance. We use arrows to show the direction in which the work flows. This is also true for showing the outputs or deliverables from the process. In this case, the final active surveillance report. Previously, when creating our process bookends, we established as a measurable outcome that these reports should be timely, comprehensive, and accurate. Once the information from our context diagram is included in the business process matrix, we will use the task flow diagram to help us define the set of tasks that make up our process.